This is one of those uh, wonderful moments in science that uh, it just you find the unexpected and that makes it so exciting. The period of time in Europe between about one and two million years ago is really interesting because we have a series of human fossils, not very well dated, and we have stone tools that show people were there. It's not really clear who these people were. So we've got Homo erectus over in Western Asia at the site of Dmanisi at about 1.8 million years ago. Uh, then we come on to sites in Southern Europe. Uh, we've got stone tools in Italy and Spain at about 1.5 million years. Uh, we have fragmentary fossils at about 1.4 million in Spain, from northern Spain and southern Spain. It's unclear what species they are. They might be erectus, but we don't know. And then there's a gap in the evidence. And then we come to about 850,000 years ago, and we're at Grandolina at Atapuerca. And here is this partial skull of a child uh, assigned to the species Homo antecessor. The received wisdom is that the uh, climate cycles at that time that humans first appeared were generally mild uh, and that the first big glaciation happened later, 900,000 years ago. And instead of what we found, to our surprise, was that there was an, an extreme uh, glacial period that occurred at about 1.1 million years ago. The way we reconstructed paleoclimate in Iberia at that particular time was analysing uh, material from a marine core and we looked at both the terrestrial and the marine component. So basically there are these fossilised microorganisms and we looked into the chemical composition of these creatures, we looked at the pollen grains and also the chemical properties of the sediment. This way we were able to see what the conditions were in the ocean and on land and Contrary to what we were expecting, we actually found that that glacial period was characterised by increasingly unstable conditions that culminated with a drop in sea surface temperatures to 5.5 degrees and temperate trees disappeared from uh, Iberia. To quantify the impact on human occupation, we ran a comprehensive climate model and a human habitat model on our supercomputer RLF. The simulation captures the climatic situation 1.1 million years ago, including the massive cooling. The results from these computer experiments are clear. Early humans in Europe could not have survived this extreme glaciation and the associated major drop in land, net primary productivity and vegetation. Finding this gap, apparently, in the record uh, for Western Europe of human habitation, um, it does lead to the question of which species were there before and after, and were there differences between those species. Um, and yes, I think it, it, it seems likely that when humans came back, maybe around 900,000 years ago, they were a more resilient species. So we have this sequence then of something erectus-like early on, probably, and then later on Homo antecessor, and then Homo heidelbergensis.